On Thursday, February 4th, Hiller's girls basketball took on Westwood. In the varsity game, Lauren Cho netted six first quarter points and helped the Hillers to an 11 to five lead. On the second, nope. Front of the rim it goes, Hillers have it. Here comes Cho, driving in, up with the left hand and good, plus the foul. Ariana Katzman netted five Westwood points in the second quarter as the Wolverines outscored the Hillers 16 to eight in the second and led 21 to 19 at the half. Pass over to Olivia Williams, back to Dolly on the short corner. Fires it up top to Hancock. Now to the wing to Katzman for three, knocks it down. Now Fleming turns it around. Over to Williams, up for three, knocks it down. It was a back and forth third quarter. Westwood took the frame 12 to 10. Westwood would also outscore the Hillers in the fourth quarter, 11 to seven, and take the game 44 to 35. Stevens takes it up, feeds it over to Hicks. Back to Stevens, up for three, got it. Boy, it's Stevens, a sharpshooter there. On Friday, February 5th, the Hillers boys took on Westwood. In the JV game, Westwood led 23 to 16, heading into the second half. Stevens gets it over to Hicks. Now to the corner, Hyman for three, got it. The Hillers knocked down a pair of threes and outscored Westwood in the third quarter, 14 to 12, and cut Westwood's lead down. Stevens takes it up. Drives the lane up, count it, Wyatt Stevens. 35 to 30, Westwood leading into the fourth quarter, and Wyatt Stevens and Rowan Smith came through big for the Hillers in the fourth. So feet across. This should be Operation Burn Clock for the Hillers. Very much. Stevens driving down. Nice feed of Pantera, and Pantera finishes. What a beauty of a behind-the-back pass. Wyatt Stevens dropped five points in the quarter, and Rowan Smith added eight points of his own as the Hillers outscored Westwood 20-8 and took the game in comeback fashion 50-43. Two to one game in favor of Westwood. Up for three is Cooper and he knocks it down. In the varsity game, Matt Cooper and Owen Schnur each dropped five first quarter points. Hillers led 18 to 10 heading into the second. Especially when we're not used to having the student section and, and all the parents and siblings. and Matt Cooper knocking it down. Westwood's Kyle Murray would drop six second quarter points as the Wolverines outscored Hopkinton in the frame, 13 to 10. Hillers led at the half, 28 to 23. On the entry, feeds it over to Sarapusco, nice finish. Sarapusco just waiting for it. In the third quarter, Jake Sarapusco added six points for the Hillers, and Hopkinton won the quarter, 18 to 17, and led 46 to 40, heading into the fourth. Pass up to Dolabani. To the bucket, great block there by Casper. What hustle. Cooper feeds it over to the wing of Schnur, driving in up with the right hand. Pulls it back down off the missed shot. Cooper, yes. Matt Cooper added seven points for the Hillers in the fourth quarter, but Westwood would add 20 points of their own to outscore the Hillers 20 to 11 and take the game 60 to 57. On Saturday, February 6th, Hillers Boys Hockey hosted Westwood. Prior to the game, they celebrated senior night. Here's a look at the festivities. We are here today to acknowledge the effort, commitment, and dedication shown by each of our seniors over the course of their playing careers, both on and off the ice, especially during this most challenging time. And now for our senior hockey to Hillers. First, number seven, Amy Walsh.
In the first half, at 7.22 left, Westwood nets the first goal of the game. Break here. Berman gets a stick in there and a goal for Westwood. Able to get by him and net it is Brendan Fay. Nice shot by Fay, had the break he was looking for and able to pop it in for the Wolverines. The Hillers responded with 152 left in the half. Toka. Over to Aiden Walsh. He'll send it back towards Dixon. 15 seconds left on the two-man advantage. And that is in! Wow, Seamus! And did that go off of Toko? I believe it did. Yeah. I think Toko is going to get credit for the goal. Seamus will get the assist. Wow! Power by Seamus. Off of Toko and in a one-to-one -one game and that score comes with 152 left in the first half. Jeff Toko with the help of Ronnie Sheamus made it a one-to-one -one game. It stayed that way until the second half with 15-18 left to go. Mira up against Foley. Grazza gets in there. Back to Dixon, Mira. And that went in. Have it, Mara. Makes it two to one, Hillers. And the score comes with 15-18 left in the second half. It was a two to one, Hillers lead until 540 left in the game. 10 seconds left on the two man advantage. Here comes Fahey. There's a shot and a goal right through the five hole goes Fahey. Wow. Right at the end of the two man advantage. A game time goal by Westwood's Colin Fahey. Could the Hillers answer back? Less than 90 seconds left, and here's what happened. Grazza. Seamus. Mara. Here comes Mara. And he lost it for the moment. Out in front, turned away. Zoltarf was able to nick it towards the net. Mara, back to Seamus. Seamus to Mara. There's a shot and a goal! Pop it, Mara! He does it again! The goal comes with 113 left, and the Hillers take the 3 to 2 lead. Unbelievable! Sophomore Pavit Mera nets the go ahead goal, and the Hillers would hang on and take the tough physical game 3 to 2. Hopkinton improves to four wins and two losses. 
as they get the victory on Senior Day. Congratulations to the Hillers on a hard-fought Senior Day win.